Hello, it's Eno. Today, I would like to talk about the theme, container tonnage of MSC up approximately 8% in one year. Maersk slightly down, difference in strategy. According to AlphaLiner's research, as of January 1, 2023, Swiss shipping company MSC, which became the world's largest container shipping company, early last year, has been actively purchasing used vessels, since then, expanding its tonnage by, about 8% since early 2022. The fleet of Maersk, 2M Alliance partner, and the second largest Danish shipping company by tonnage, in contrast, declined slightly. Maersk continues to invest, in the logistics sector, including Manda, and the difference in strategy is clearly visible, in the figures. The paper has a ranking of vessel tonnage, as of January 1st compiled by Alpha Liner, but let me introduce, just the points of interest. At first, let me introduce shipping companies, that increase their tonnage, compared to the same period, of the previous year. MSC is up 7.5%. CMACGM is up 7.1%. Evergreen is up 12.5%. Zim in Israel is up 29%. PIL in Singapore is up 11.4%. On the other hand, the shipping companies, that decrease their tonnage are as follows. Maersk is down 1.4%. Costco is down 2.1%. One is down 0.8%. In 2021, MSC made a large-scale purchase, of used vessels to take advantage, of the rising container shipping market. In one year, it expanded its fleet, by more than 410,000 TEU, surpassing Maersk to become, the world's largest container shipping company. In the following year, 2022, it expanded its fleet, to over 320,000 TEU, without losing momentum, in the purchase of used vessels. As of January 1st, MSC had a total, of about 4.6 million TEU, while second place Maersk had about 4.2 million TEU, giving the impression that the gap has widened since the beginning of 2022. And with MSC's 14 Megamax type vessels of over 20,000 TEU and 22 Neopanamax type vessels of around 14,000 TEU scheduled for delivery in 2023. It seems unlikely that the world's largest container shipping company will be replaced in the immediate future. The difference in strategy, between MSC and Maersk is clear, and at the same time, I am very concerned about the upsides, of other shipping companies. Israel's Zim is up 29%, and others, Evergreen and PIL, are also up quite a bit. Some shipping companies are down, but only slightly. There is an impression that, the volume of vessels of the lower-ranked shipping companies, has increased considerably. The 8% increase for MSC, is quite large, due to its large population and also for CMA, which is up 7.1%. How will shipping companies, that have significantly increased their shipping capacity, this time around, cargo volume is expected, to decrease overall, partly due to the economic downturn. Personally, I wonder, if there will be a price war, in the market, or if competition among shipping companies, to acquire cargo will intensify. That's all for today. Thank you.